hi guys welcome to my channel electronic secret today i will show you how to connect a laptop hard disk drive into the desktop watch my video till end to see how i do this subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it yet and watch complete video to see the process viewers this is Toshiba hard disk drive and it is salvaged from a broken laptop which was not in used so I decided to use it in my desktop PC so I will show you how to connect this viewers before that the main thing you should know is that this hard drive runs on 5 volt our computer our desktop PC has three types of supplies plus 12 volt minus 12 volt and plus 5 volt the main thing in this you need to know is the correct voltage for this drive it runs on 5 volt here it is also mentioned so don't connect 12 volt or 3 volt or minus 12 volt to this only 5 volt I will show you the correct color coding of the wires in the desktop now I will open it it's a HP desktop code to do here is its power supply unit here is its hard drive and I will show you friends Here is our SATA ports. It has four SATA ports. Viewers, before I connect the external hard disk drive of a laptop into my desktop, I will show you the connections and so you can understand the correct voltage of the wires. Viewers, this is the power connectors for hard drives or CD ROMs or DVD ROMs, etc. So it is connected with two wires, three wires. Black wire it is used for ground. Red wire it has 5 volt and yellow wire it has 12 volt. So our CD ROM, DVD ROM and hard drive, main hard drive will use both 12 volt and 5 volt for operation to run the system. But our external hard disk drive which is of laptop it will need only 5 volt so I have to modify its connector suppose I will connect this connector to my hard disk drive here I will connect like this but before connecting and powering it on you will have to cut the 12 volt connection like I have done it it was connected this yellow wire was connected to this connector for some other hard drives or CD-ROMs and external you can also add anything devices but now I am connecting this laptop hard drive so I will not need this 12 volt so it if it is connected it will damage my hard drive and burn it so I have cut it from the center now this connector is only connected with red wire and black wire black for ground and red for 5 volt so I will connect it here the other cable I need is a SATA cable it is, it is a SATA cable connect it here now our connections are ok now you have to select a place for your hard drive where your hard drive can sit it is a mini desktop so place is matter here but if you own a desktop tower desktop you have enough space but I will connect it here viewers I will show you 
I will place it in that place it is vacant so I will just sit there now my hide external laptop hard drive is placed in its place now I will press it down our connectors are ok only you have to connect red and black wire not yellow I will close the case now yours. it's ok now now I will power on the system Viewers, watch the message that is popped up. The following configuration options were automatically updated. Disk 80 GB Toshiba. Viewers, this 80 GB Toshiba disk is the external laptop drive I have connected to my desktop. And second disk is 160 GB ST. This is the main hard drive of the computer. So viewers, you see that our external hard disk is now shown on the system now it's asking for f1 save changes so i will hit the f1 from the keyboard Now our operating system is now booting. I will give the password of the window. We will you see that our desktop is in working condition now and I have connected the laptop drive which was not in use and was extra now I am being utilizing it in my desktop I will show you in the properties Here click on storage viewers Disk management It will show all the disks We will watch this This is our laptop drive which I have connected and this is main drive It's showing 74.53 GB Because it is of 80 GB and this is 160 GB it is showing also some less it is due to some system and up space allocation problems like that but viewers you see that I have today used an external lab drive into my desktop PC which is running and I am using it so don't trash it you can use your damaged laptop things in desktop like I have used that that hard disk drive so viewers hope you have liked my video kindly share it goodbye till then